key result is that greater relative levels of sunlight in the late summer and early fall resulted in lower levels of flu in the beginning of the season. Growing up, I think what I was always taught was that sunlight was always terrible, right? It's always sunburn and skin cancer, and you should wear your hat and wear your sunscreen and stay inside anyway. Um, and not just with vitamin D, but with seasonal affective disorder and depression as well, we now know that sunlight can have some positive benefits. And it's a much more nuanced and complicated relationship about how to balance those costs and benefits. That's where health economics can really play a role um, in, in ongoing public policy. I think more broadly is, you know, this is a complement to the flu vaccine, right? We're not saying get some sunlight and don't get a flu vaccine. We're saying there are a variety of things that happen together. Um, and remember, flu isn't just about you, that your behavior affects those around you as well. Um, and taking preventive actions like getting a flu shot can have a broader or positive effect on those around you.